Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to clarify. Never once did I say turn your weapons into the government. It's very hard to make a video because I have to be very careful what I say. There's a lot of laws and rules on the books that uh, sometimes I could come close to uh, actually getting in trouble and then nice little officers would show up at my doorstep. Hypothetically, let's say open conflict begins. We have a conflict with the powers that be Never once would I say turn your weapons in, give up your ARs, and then they'll let us keep everything else. No, they are in for the total destruction of the Second Amendment. Uh, I know that. You should know my channel by now. What I am saying is I've met too many people that take this fine weapon and they oil it up and they, they keep it in their safe and it's their pride and joy. It's a weapon. It's metal. It's plastic. Um, you need to realize that. This is nothing. You, as the Patriot, are the weapon system. This is just a tool. I know because, you know, you ask guys, let's go train. They won't get it dirty. Uh, they won't take it out in the rain. You need to get over that. This is a piece of metal, piece of plastic. Yes, take care of it so it's serviceable. Uh, but you need to understand that at one point you might have to ditch it. Now, I'm not saying ditch it and give it up to the government. If your survivability for that instant says if I get rid of it I can blend in with the crowd I can get away I can fight another day do it if you think the neck the conflict um, is going to be uh, conventional no it's not it's going to be something totally different it's not going to be sides lining up to fight each other I don't want to get into it and say anything because I could put myself in great jeopardy. Um, but what I'm going to tell you, get over this and realize, throw your weapon away if it will assure you to fight another day. Going overseas, we surround a village, we surround a town. What do we do? We go in. If you have a weapon, you are met with resistance and you are probably killed. What do they do? They ditch their weapons. There's plenty of weapons inside the United States, so if you think your AR-15 can't be thrown in the lake and you still, as a patriot, can't continue the fight, you're crazy. There's so many weapons just out there. You are the weapon. You're mine. Don't jeopardize your, your safety because you take Charleston Heston from my cold, dead hands, literally. Yes, no one's giving up their weapon, so implying that I say give up your weapon is crazy. Throw your weapon away, throw it in a ditch, throw it anywhere, hide it, cache it, uh, be willing to totally uh, destroy it if it means you can fight another day. Patriots are what's going to be in short supply. There's going to be no firearm shortage in the United States if open conflict begins because a group of people want to take our Second Amendment rights away. There's going to be plenty of firearms here, but there's going to be a very short supply of Patriots. People, people talk tough and say, well, if they come to my house, they're going to get my bullets first. If you know they're coming to your house, don't be at your house. Because guess what? You against 20 guys out front, yeah, you're going to get killed. Is that going to do the cause any good? No, it's not. So I'm implying, throw your weapon away if it assures you your personal survival to continue the fight and continue the struggle. For what? Maintain the republic keep the Constitution, keep the way we have our government. I'm not a big fan of our government. Trust me, they do a lot of things wrong. Um, but implying that I'm going to give up my guns or implying that you just give up our ARs and let us keep all the rest, no, they're, they're out for the total destruction of the Second Amendment. But when I meet people, it's like that AR is their identity. Um, they, ah, the government's never going to get my gun. They might not get it, but are you willing to throw that thing away to make sure you survive? That is why, in a hypothetical future conflict, this is going to be so much important than an AR-15. Because I guarantee you, with the security apparatus that will be tightened up, you might be able to get into a spot, but guess what? You might not be able to get out of a spot carrying an AR-15. That is why this weapon is perfect. A cheap weapon is perfect. Where you won't cry, you can throw it away. It accomplishes its mission to protect the Constitution, to protect the Republic, to protect the Second Amendment. Then after that, that weapon is disposable. That is what I'm trying to get at.
be willing to throw it away. Some guys just, oh, I, I, I had this work done on it. I polished the trigger. I had the gunsmith do all this. I, I got this $2,000 scope on it. Those are the guys I'm talking about. They might not want to throw that gun away, which would jeopardize their life, which would jeopardize their group or other patriots. It's just metal. It's plastic. You are the true weapon. You are the true asset. There's not many patriots. There's lots more firearms in this country. I hope this clarifies it. Southern Prepper 1 is for, I know gun control, is always for the Second Amendment. Thanks for watching.